Well, some people were concerned about my footage on the LG Stylo 2 Plus, and so here it is. We're going to go ahead and give you a full review of this phone. It's actually a pretty great phone, and it doesn't have all the features of some of my other phones, but it does have some over the ZTE Z Max Pro. And I guess that the name Stylus or Stylo uh, really lets it, lets it hammer home because I would have loved to have seen some of the features on this phone uh, on the ZTE Z Max Pro. But nonetheless, this phone is good, and we're going to do a full review for it. And I'm actually recording this video with the ZTE Z Max Pro. It's one of my favorite phones, and I'm going to put it to some usage and give you more footage with it. So let's get into this full review for the LG Stylo 2 Plus. All right, guys, so full review for the LG Stylo 2. Now, this phone has a fingerprint reader on the back, and I think that's pretty hot, man. I think there's a lot of phones out there who should really incorporate the fingerprint reader on the back. Now that's something that uh, I prefer, as you know, in all my videos, I've said it before. I do like to use front firing, uh, front facing uh, fingerprint readers. Uh, but this one right here is located on the back. And I think LG is doing a good thing uh, by keeping their fingerprint readers on the back and some other companies as well. Now let's get into kind of the, the tech specs of this phone. So there's, um, there's a lot that this phone offers that a lot of other phones don't offer. Uh, so let's go down here. I want to show you the specs on this thing. It has a 5.5 inch display. That is, I guess, the main thing about this phone at this point that we might be looking at. So uh, it has a 5.7 inch display. It is 720. This is the international version where it says 1080p. Uh, it has a um, 13 megapixel on the back. It doesn't have a 16. This is a T-Mobile variant. Uh, it has uh, 2 gigs of RAM, not 3 gigs of RAM as shown in here. And I think the battery is also, uh, I think the battery is actually, actually uh, 2900, I believe. There's a lot of different variants of this phone. Um, let's just top it off and see. Yeah, see this battery is actually 2900. So there's a lot of different variants. And while I have this open, as you see, it does have a removable battery SD card slot. And it takes a nano SIM. And uh, this is where, like, the central hub is for the phone. And right here, obviously, the stylus comes out the top. Uh, very, very, very nice feature. I've already covered the stylus um, in a separate video that's been up now for more than a month, almost, probably. Um, but the Stylo 2 Plus uh, is, isn't groundbreaking, but the fact that you can get such a nice package for uh, under $250, it's a good thing. And I think that a lot of people really enjoy this phone over a lot of others. First of all, it is actually a very beautiful device. It kind of has like this bronze or a real deep gold uh, color uh, on the body. This is actually, it's, it's smooth, but it's got some, some ridge to it. It's got some texture when you rub your fingers that way. Um, a lot of things uh, that I've seen uh, with this phone... Uh, well, I think it'd be 30 attempts if you messed that up. <laughs> uh, a lot of things I've seen with this phone is the speaker. It's impressive, but not the most impressive. Uh, like real world test, it's not going to knock your socks off. I've already tested that in another video, so you've seen it. Uh, but getting back to the body, um, this phone is beautiful, man. I mean, um, I like that they're not doing like T-Mobile branding and stuff on, on their phones. T-Mobile's good about that. Uh, but you got that front firing, uh, that front uh, camera up there. You've got your speaker grill up there. Nothing down here. This has on-screen buttons. I would have liked to have seen buttons down here in this area, but I'm sure they have a reasoning for not doing that. Um, but overall, man, this 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 body on here is very nice. Now, I have a case for this, uh, and the case is, uh, you know, it's a nice case. It's not the best case. I need to order more cases for it. And also need to get a screen protector or tempered glass because phones like this, you know, it has the um, the uh, straight flat glass and it's very nice. So you've got that 5.7 inch uh, 720p display. Um, it is. It would have been nice to have seen uh, 1080p, uh, but you know, it is what it is. I still enjoy this screen. Let me clear out these. And speaking of screens, um, this screen is not very bright. It does not get very bright at all. I mean, it's just not a bright screen. A minute ago you saw that was 100%. So this is about 58%. 
This isn't, it may look great on camera because when you turn the brightness down on cameras, this, the phones look fantastic. Uh, but this is not the world's brightest screen. Uh, and it is an IPS display. But, you know, for 240, they're kind of toning it down. They, I think they cut corners with this Stylo 2 compared to the Stylo, the first one. Um, I don't know. This is looks better, um, but they took away the laser focus. They gave it, um, the screen isn't as bright. It's not 1080p. There's just a lot of things with it. It looks a lot better, though. Uh, but, you know, I'm not jumping up and down for this phone because this phone costs 240 bucks, And I was expecting a little bit more. Uh, but anyway, the screen itself is beautiful, but it just doesn't get very bright. And that's just one of those things. Uh, but it does ship with, with Marshmallow, as you can see there. Uh, and it has the Snapdragon 430 in here. And it's not bad. I have Google Launcher on here, but it has the Adreno 5, 505. So, you know, gaming on here, it should actually run pretty good. And I say should because I haven't played not one game on this phone. But maybe I'll fire one up at the end of this video or during this video. Uh, but the 505 should be okay with this. Uh, but that Adreno 430, though, ah, the 410 is a tried and true processor, uh, and it works really good, so I don't know why it would do bad on here. But here's our model right here. You see that 2 gigs, and then that, that uh, for the 550, that's our model. That's the T-Mobile model, and it has 16 gigs. We don't get the 3 gig version or the, with the 32 and the 1080p display. No worries, though. And as you can see there, there's our 13 megapixel camera, and we get the 5 megapixel camera on the front. Uh, and it's not a good or a bad thing because it's actually really, really good. And I'll demo that here in a second. Um, but it does have 5 gigahertz band. See, this is what I, it's, it's kind of like a mixed bag with this. Um, my The phone I'm recording with is the ZTE Z Max Pro. Beautiful footage, right? It doesn't have the 5 gigahertz band, <laughs> but I don't know. So, you, like I said, you do get that fingerprint reader on the back, and you get that 13 megapixel camera. It's pretty good. So, you have uh, the 2900 milliamp hour battery, as I said before. We don't get the 3,000 milliamp hour battery. So let's tackle the camera real fast. I'm going to grab some things of color and pop them out here. Let's put some stuff away. There's so much stuff out here. So let's grab some things with color. All these things have color. The fingerprint reader is kind of fast on here. It doesn't require you to press the button or anything. Uh oh, hey, well, there I am. Okay, so here's the front camera. Look at the quality on there. Isn't that good quality? Right? That's great quality. Really good. All right, so let's uh, switch here to the rear camera. And I was going to sample the uh, front camera, but it kind of got too, there too fast. So let's see here. Let's flip this around and get some metal showing. This camera shutter is really fast. So. Let's move all this out of the way. And uh, why does it keep asking me for a default? Um, I keep setting that. Oh, I guess I was moving on that photo, so we'll delete that one. But here's an actually legitimate photo. Um, as you can see, this camera is really, really good. Look at the footage there as I zoom in. I just keep zooming. Look at that. This is a really good camera. It's a good camera. Let's keep going. Wow. So the laser focus thing, it was a good idea. I wish they would have kept it, but we don't need it, as you can see. The footage on here is really good. So I don't see a reason to say that this camera footage is bad. But what I will say is the um, these still, still photos look really good, uh, but video samples look really good, too. Uh, it's just that, you know, they took away the laser focus, and I don't know why. You know, I don't know why they, what was the reasoning behind that. But I'm sure OEMs have their own reasoning why they take stuff off and, you know, cancel it out. So the cameras aren't the main selling point, but it is, it does have good cameras. Now, <clears throat> let's pull out this stylus here. And I've already covered the stylus in this this uh, phone. I've done a, a memo, uh, or excuse me, a separate video on this, detailing this in detail. Now, it's a shame that you can get these this kind of functionality now. Now, the Galaxy Note line is a top-of-the-line uh, product for doing things like with a stylus or an, they call it an S Pen because it's capacitive. But this is kind of, this is resistive. So, you know, this is made, this tip on here can is made for specific types of, of devices. Uh, and it's made for this type of screen. So, uh, the stylo is, um, I think it's going to, uh-oh. It's going to please a lot of people 
because it can do a lot of things. And I always, I always put don't, I always put uncheck that box, but still, again, I'll just leave it off. But the Stylo uh, 2 Plus is really good. And I don't know of another device in this price range um, that can bring you this type of quality. I mean, look at it. Let's switch to something else. Let's go with the marker, the highlighter type deal. Let's go with let's just go with green. This is really good, folks. I mean, for what you're getting, this is really good. You see that? I mean, the accuracy is pretty good. I I mean, you'd be a little naive if you felt like it wasn't. If you feel like this just is garbage, you know, whatever. I think you're just a little you're crazy. No, you're not crazy. It's just that you got to give props where props are due. I would have loved to have seen this on the um, phone I'm recording with, which is the um, ZTE Z Max Pro. I would have loved to have seen this. And I'm kind of just touching on features right now because I've kind of, and after the hype video, I gave you a lot with this phone. I've done videos on it, but I would have loved to have seen the ZTE Z Max Pro have something like this. And it would definitely rival the Note line um, when it, if, on that bigger screen. Uh, but another thing that this phone has is dual window. Opening up the dual window, um, let me see here. I was playing around with some stuff. So let's get a uh, quick memo down here and let's do the web browser up top. Uh, let's see here. Come on, dual window. Let's do quick memo. All right, there we go. So you can see here I have, uh, the last thing I did was that memo, and then I've got the specs up top for the phone. This is a really cool feature. I would have, like I said, I would have loved to have seen this on the um, ZTE Z Max Pro, ZTE Z Max Pro, uh, taking advantage of the much larger screen. Uh, it just would have been fantastic. Not to say that it's bad, but when Android N comes along, this will be a default feature for um for uh, the ZTE Z Max Pro when it gets Android in. And for those that might ask, I don't know when it's getting in Android in, but I just feel like it's gonna get it because the phone is selling so well and doing so well, the demand is there. Nonetheless, this phone will probably definitely get Android in because um, LG is known for updating, well, in my experience, the, the other stylo got Marshmallow. And so a lot of phones, like so-called budget or lower price phones, they don't even get to see the updates. So the fact that LG continuously, bumpy cam, the fact that LG continuously updates their devices from, in my experience, it's a good thing. I'm really excited about that. So um, body, screen, dual window, stylus, um, battery life. I didn't touch on battery life yet. Uh, with this phone, it's being 720p and it's an IPS display. You will get at least six hours of screen on time with this phone. You shouldn't have a problem grabbing six hours of screen on time. It is a very strong battery. I mean, the phone itself uh, is beautiful in its own, but, you know, just looking at that, it looks like you probably couldn't pull this down, but you can pull down six hours of screen on time with this phone right here. Uh, easy. It should be extremely easy for you. The phone does have Android Pay. It has NFC. And for some people, that's important, but, you know, comparing it to the ZTE Z Max Pro, it doesn't have NFC, and that's, some people have said that that's a deal breaker for them. For me, it's not a deal breaker because the only pay options that I used was Apple Pay and Samsung Pay. And, uh, but knowing that I can use it on here, you know, I don't even have my Android Pay set up, to be honest. So, you know, I've always just stuck with, um, Samsung Pay primarily and then Apple Pay second. But the fact that this phone can do it is really good. So cameras are decent, um, I, I would definitely give the, the build quality on this phone uh, about a solid 8. And um, I would give the screen a good 7 because it doesn't get real bright. Uh, even in direct sunlight, even at 100%, it's still not. It's bright, but you have to keep it at a higher. Like right now, I have it at about, um, I have it at 57%. And that's just not good because I have other phones where I can keep it at 30% and, you know, it's brighter than this. Uh, and a lot of those phones are AMOLED displays, but still, um, you know, it's good and bright. So I have to get, in order to use this phone, if you're, uh, if you think the screen is too low, you're going to find yourself using it on 100% a lot. So 
the screen, uh, let's get our let's get our trusty calculator out because we're gonna start rating things. So I give the the build quality a, a, an eight. I give the screen a, a good seven, and uh, cameras. I actually give the cameras about an eight because the cameras are really really solid, uh, really really good. Now that rear speaker on the back, you know, it's not the loudest, definitely, you know. Uh, but it'll get the job done. I've I've demoed it demoed it before. Some people say it's loud enough for them. For me, I like to see it a little bit louder. Uh, but price point, I definitely don't give this phone a ten for price point because it's supposed to be considered quote unquote budget, but it still costs two hundred and forty dollars. And you can get it as low as uh, uh, one forty on other carriers, but through T-Mobile, the lowest you can probably get it at is one ninety nine, and that's with that Walmart family, which is basically T-Mobile. So price point, I still don't give it a low one. I give it an eight. Uh, but battery life is definitely um, a 10 uh, because you can get you can get some serious battery out of this thing, man. You can get at least six hours of screen on time. Overall performance, um, I haven't had any problems with this phone as far as performance, but I did find out that, you know, feature set, uh, you know, I, I'm going to give it an extra half a point because it has features. It has dual window. It has the stylus. Um, it's pretty durable. <laughs> I've already dropped this phone a couple times. Um, it's, it's durable, <laughs> but uh, as far as features go, it's got dual window, it's got the stylus, um, it's really, really good. It's got NFC, uh, things that might be important to a lot of users, but overall performance, the 430 is not bad. Um, it's just not, you know, the killer performance machine that you would possibly want. Uh, but it's not going to, it's, it's not going to perform bad. It's just not as smooth as some other phones. That's all. Uh, so uh, performance, I'm going to give it an extra point, half a point for performance. So I'm, that's going to take it back up to an 8. So then it gets a 49, and let's divide that by 6. It gets an 8.16. So basically an 8.1 for the overall rating. Now that doesn't mean that this phone is bad, but, you know, it's got, it's just kind of a mixed bag for me. Uh, it's really solid, beautiful hardware, uh, but... You know, the 720, 720p display is not the brightest. Um, and another thing, in dual window, if you're trying to play YouTube and then you have another app open, I've experienced that the YouTube app kind of cuts the video off. So it's kind of strange, um, but it does happen. So I just installed a game here that I've never had on my phone before, and I wanted to see how it loads on here. Now, I've never played this game on this phone. I just re recently loaded up. You, all, you know that I keep Fun Run and... Um, uh, hopefully it doesn't make me install that. Okay. Um, uh, so it should start up here. And I wanted to see just the frame rate and how the GPU handles it. Because it does have the 505. So this should work really, really good. So overall, this you know, I gave this phone about an 8.1. That's still really, really good. You know? Um, so let's check it out. You can see it's a little choppy. So it's looking pretty good. It's pretty. Oh, actually, it actually works pretty good. Just that initial frame rate where it was turning uh, when it was starting up. Um, it's pretty good. Hopefully, I'm staying in view of the Finder here because I'm trying to play. All right. Yeah, this actually does really good. Once it gets going, um, it, it actually plays really, really well. So, yeah. I've never played this phone before, uh, played this game before, so I wanted to play something, like I said before, that, um, that I had never played before on the phone. So, uh, this phone is really graphic intense, and it's actually doing very, very well. So, I gotta say, I'm pretty happy uh, with the performance. Oh, He's coming to get me. Ugh. All right, so there you have it, man. Uh, it can handle a pretty intensive game like that. But overall, man, uh, the Stylo 2 uh, Plus is good, and it's worth the purchase. Now, the price, I didn't give it the lowest rating for the price, or highest rating for the price, because it does cost 240 for T-Mobile if you go into the store or online. And if you buy it through Walmart Mobile, like that family mobile that, that works as T-Mobile, it's still $200 out of pocket. Uh, so, 
uh, Boost Mobile, I think, has it. Virgin has it, and Metro has it. And um, they're they're in the hundreds over there, like 149 and stuff like that. So, but that's still for 149. This is totally worth it uh, because it has the features that I could deal with the other things that I pointed out that weren't the best or you know didn't get the highest score for. However, it's worth about 149 or so. When people always ask me, "What do you think it's worth?" Well, that means I'm not willing to pay more than. Now, obviously, I paid more than 149 for this, but I would like to have seen this come in at 149 because you can actually get the original stylus. For 130 right now at Walmart and T-Mobile, so and even cheaper elsewhere. So, you know, and you're not getting that much more on here. So you're actually losing some functionality. And the first style runs like a champ. So that's my full review. This video was entirely shot and edited on the ZTE Z Max Pro. So there you guys have it. Um, it's your man Jay Will. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.